Ken Levine and his team have yet to announce their next game, but after playing through a recent 2014 release, the Bioshock creator was inspired to share what he would like to see from video games in the future, and what he hopes to achieve as well. In his story on Medium, Levine praised Middle-Earth Shadow of Mordor, citing the game's nemesis system, a series of algorithms that generate unique enemies and circumstances for players to navigate, as a prime example of the direction his next game will take. By breaking down the elements of a character into small chunks and recombining them based on randomness and, more importantly, responses to the player's choices, Shadow of Mordor tells a story that could never exist in another medium, he said. The goal is to make a flexible narrative that is broadly replayable and strongly adapted to player choice. And that's the big thing that my colleagues and I have been working on at our yet unnamed new studio. Levine's past titles at Irrational Games, which experienced a major shift in focus earlier this year, are driven by story. System Shock 2, Bioshock, and Bioshock Infinite toy with the idea of choice, eventually suggesting that players don't really have one. They can navigate corridors in a certain order, use a certain weapon to dispatch a certain enemy, but in the end, the story remains fixed. And then, Middle-earth Shadow of Mordor showed up, Levine said. Whether you succeed or you fail, the characters in the story respond to your actions. Yes, these are baby steps towards realizing the kind of stories that the games can uniquely provide, he said, but the first steps are often the hardest of all. I need that phrase on a t-shirt or a coffee mug. Do you have an equally great experience with Shadow of Mordor? Let us know, and for the latest in entertainment and gaming news, keep your eyes on IGN.